Well, we've come to the end of the four-part series. This is part four of the four-part series. Does the royal family feel like they've messed up with uh, Harry and Meghan? So, I hope you like the video. If you do like it, uh, please do like it. And uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you very much for watching. This one's the Queen. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So I think the idea here is to find out if the queen is actually in communication with them, if everything's really is worked over as well as it can be with the queen, what does the queen think about that? You know, just questions along those lines. So we'll see. The fact is, Queen Elizabeth has everything under control, and she always has, and she will until she takes her last breath, and even after that, I imagine. So um, you know, she's a beautiful. She's been a beautiful young uh, princess. She was an Princess. She was an amazing, uh, uh, regal uh, new queen. She's been a queen. She's been an amazing patriarch of a of a, a difficult family and uh, an incredible, peaceful, uh, tranquil, uh, steadfast leader of a terrific country. So, yeah, she's okay. Let's see what she's thinking. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in, on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great. You really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is, um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came up with some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. I think this is a great way to end this series with the Queen. Have the utmost respect for her. I think she's an amazing a woman who, from the very beginning, took uh, such an incredible situation and made it her life's work. So, Queen Elizabeth. So, I guess what people want to know is if um, is if she feels that she's being um, treated poorly by Harry and Meghan. And what's what's amazing, to see, is that we really don't know what's going on behind the scenes. We don't have any idea. Uh, they could be speaking to each other regularly. They could be having phone uh, uh, video chats. Um, so let's see. Does the, the Queen feel personally, not as a country, but personally? Let's really go to the deep part of it. Does the Queen personally feel as if she's getting everything she needs from her grandson, Harry? Does the Queen feel like she's getting everything she needs from her grandson, or at least as much as is reasonable in this situation. I think that's not a bad question to ask. We're just going to do that with three cards just to get started. So does the queen feel like she's getting what is reasonable from Harry right now? Okay. I'm going to start this. One card. Does the queen feel like she's getting what's reasonable from Harry? This is the seven of coins. 
And, you know, the seven of coins uh, speaks to us of, uh, you know, uh, tending our harvest, uh, want, wanting to make sure that we've nurtured something as best we can. Will we please with the uh, fruit that is it's born? Um, so yeah, I think that's what's on our mind. That makes sense. The seven of coins. Just wondering, as a, as a as a simple woman, as simple as she can be, if she's been what uh, in a given what was necessary to nurture uh, this uh, this situation. So that would that would be a fair for that to be on our mind. The second card for that then is the hangman. Yeah. So. Um, it makes sense. I mean, everything is in sort of a state of uh, suspension until uh, in that part of the family and the royal family are back together as some kind of union. So, yeah, things are in suspense. Final card for that is the Knight of Wands, and that's really feeling embattled. And uh, this uh, young woman is carrying a plan. She's she's ha She has organized the issues that uh, are on the other side of the wall. And she's uh, moving forth with this plan. But, you know, this just doesn't really answer the question. Does she feel as if she's getting what she's needed from Harry? Let's do two more cards for that. Does Queen Elizabeth feel as if she's gotten what's needed from Harry? So, uh, of course, that makes sense that a grandmother would want to feel, uh, uh, you know, hoped that she's nurtured uh, this as well as she could. It does seem that things are suspended. Um, it is a twisty difficult situation that uh, she looks like she still has a plan for. Um, this is the Hierophant, and she has to think, of course, about the structure of the monarchy. You know, that's that's first. And I don't want to say the government, because really the government does have, doesn't have much to do with this situation. It's the monarchy. So yeah, that has to be for, foremost on her mind. And the Page of Coins, I guess uh, you could kind of think that, you know, this is the amount of value that this issue has to be doled out. No matter how personal we want to think about this, um, she's reminded us here that there is this monastic uh, element that is under everything, and it has to be given its weight uh, under that consideration. And it's in the royal situation. It's just at the beginning of, of those uh, royal cards. So this is given the uh, value that it's due and uh, and uh, when the page uh, brings a message forward, uh, it expects to go further. I'm going to take one more card to see if she feels like she's getting the value. Well, judgment. You know, this is um, kind of a sad card, um, you know, because we know that uh, she knows, we all know, judgment day isn't far off. And I think all you can do is do the best that you can and leave it in the hands of the one who will judge you in the end. So... That's fair, I think. But I want to I want to know a little bit more. Is this going to resolve before the queen um, leaves us? Is this situation going to resolve before the queen leaves us? Will the situation with Harry resolve before the queen leaves us? And the fact is that you know we may never know because these are things that, that would happen behind closed doors. Hopefully, there would be some signal. But at that point, this is going to be uh, Charles's uh, ball game. So, will this resolve before the queen leaves us? Three cards. One, two, and three. Will this resolve before the queen leaves us? Second so fire card is the ace of coins. So that's that's hope. So this is an angel. This is an angel giving forth a, a, an offer of value. Okay. The uh, next card for that is the moon. Secrets being revealed. So that would sort of say that, yeah, you know, the, the, the issue behind the scenes uh, is going to become clear. And the final card for that is the sun. And I really love to get this card because the sun is, uh, you know, everything out in the open. It's um, uh, full steam ahead and bright days. And uh, so, yeah, I think this is telling us that, yeah, there's going to be uh, an, an, an offer made. The secrets will become clearer, and uh, and everything will end up in the sunshine before the queen leaves us. <clears throat> and then the final question I have for this, and I want to kind of say this about the queen's instructions to her family regarding Harry. What in 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 a in a six card diet across? Can you let us know the queen's? instructions to her family. This is a big ask. This is huge. 
will the queen, can we know just, you know, a taste for the queen's instructions regarding this Harry situation? What do we think? Six cards. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Queen's instructions regarding the Harry situation. Okay. Queen's instructions regarding the Harry situation. Signifier card for this is the Five of Wands. The signifier card for this is the Five of Wands. It's the um, pointless uh, arguing. It's the uh, misunderstanding. So that's what we're talking about here. What uh, have her instructions, what has her guidance been regarding this? The challenge to this, then, is the star. Hmm. The star. That's such an interesting uh, card to get for this right now. I'm going to look on my little cheat sheet here and see what it tells me about the star that I'm not thinking of. Hope, guidance, faith, seeking answers, harmony, inspiration. Yeah. So the the signifier is the is the um, endless, uh, pointless um, bickering, and inspiration is the challenge to that. And you know where there's inspiration, you know hopefully inspiration is going to be stronger than than pointlessness. Uh, the base of this, then, is the Six of Coins, and the Six of Coins is doling out the value. Doling out the value, you know, making sure that whomever it needs gets what it is that they need. Here's a stack of coins here. Here's the value. Here's the wizened uh, woman here getting ready to hand out what needs to be given out to her family, I suppose. Uh, and that's in the, in the mean, I would think that means advice. In the past of this, is the Ace of Coins, and that angel comes back from the previous, just tell us, yeah, there's an angelic presence going on here. And the uh, Nine of Cups is the sky of this, and it's a beautiful card to get, because this is a load of compassion and emotion, all up here for display, for the world to see. This merchant is saying, look, 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 look at everything that we have, and that I have achieved, and uh, this is my whole, this is the, the, the bounty for my family up here. So, that sounds pretty good. And then the likely outcome of this then, ah, is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is feeling uh, restricted, but um, but really not being so. But you know, that just doesn't finish the question for us, does it? So we're going to get four more cards on the subject of um, the Queen's uh, guidance for this situation. The Chariot. Things are coming, are happening. You know, the, the you can see the end of the race from where we are right now for the Queen. The environment that that's in, is, uh, you know, wanting, oh, of course, yes, wanting things to be beautiful the way they were in the past. Everything was harmony. Sometimes we remember the past better than what it was. But, yeah, so things are happening. It's in a, an environment of, of wanting to have some harmony here. The uh, hopes and the fears of this, the Knight of Swords, this is Harry. Um, this is Harry that's hoping that he understands the rules, he understands the justice, and, uh, and, and his truth um, gets a fair shake. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing, then the Queen's advice, Six of Swords, move it out of troubled water. Her advice, and my God, this looks like a young Charles, as a matter of fact, um, move it out of troubled water. Her advice is is that, okay, if this hasn't been resolved, then this should be taken to a calmer um, place. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Really love that. Well, I like that. I think that's a fair um, way to end that reading. Queen's got it under control, and uh, the wise and queen knows that a thing moves at its own pace, but the end result, I think, is what she could aim, aim, aim the family towards. And so the signifier of that was, look, the, the issue is all this endless, ridiculous, pointless uh, arguing, okay? The um, challenge to that is inspiration. You know, remember your family, remember what is most important. The basis of that was a six of coins doling out that value uh, as is appropriate, giving everybody in there whose feelings are hurt and whose uh, issues are involved uh, a fair uh, amount of attention. Past this reading was the uh, this angel shows back up with a great big offer of value to get things going. In the sky of this is the Ninety Cups, so showing us that this um, machine, this um, firm, has lots uh, to display uh, for everybody in the way of compassion and emotion. But the likely outcome for that first part is this Eight of Swords, everyone feeling restricted and tied up and not being able to be uh, to break free of those uh, dangerous uh, uh, feelings. But uh, for the um, 
self of the of the situation. We get the chariot. Things are happening fast. The queen's life is coming to an end. Uh, the prince's life is moving forward. Um, prince Charles is going to have a lot on his plate. The signifier of this, the self of this issue, is that things are happening fast right now. Okay, we need to make sure that we get back to a place that we remember our purest uh, thoughts. Prince uh, Harry. Uh, hopefully has his rules and his uh, justice and his uh, truth in place and then moving the instruction would be just move everything into safer uh, harbors that's that's what we have to do that's that's the goal that's the end goal always I sweet well I'm Mark this has been my journey through tarot I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go so stop on by ciao for now